You're watching episode 11 of our Ford Transit minibus camper conversion. This week, we rebuilt our overhead cabinet doors, built and attached our headliner doors, and made a start on the storage space for underneath our bed. Harry and I have giggled our way through this whole week, so brace yourselves for some laughs. <laughs> <laughs> Sass. It's like all no shakes on Thursday. Craziness. Dar, we made a dog. We made a dog. Awful accents. Maybe we have to jig a little bit to make work. I don't know. And a little bit of frustration. So let's get into the video. What's going on, guys? It is Monday. It is the start of a new week. And today we are sorting out our cupboard doors. Yeah. So we're going to redo them. We really hate this. It's too thick, too chunky, like we said in our last video. So we're going to just try some 9mm ply and see what happens. Yes, yeah, so we're going to take these down now, get some 9mm ply cut size and just try it out. And if it works, we'll do that for all four doors. So that's the plan. Yeah. So we're going to get on with that right now. Cool. So using some 9mm plywood, we traced around the front of the cabinets to make our first cabinet door. We jigsawed this out and then sanded it down. We made sure it fit well and then started to attach these easy mount cabinet hinges we got from Screwfix. Due to the 9mm thickness of our ply, we used 10mm long back screws. We then attached them to the horizontal top beams of the cabinets and then sanded down the doors so they were flush. You really make me wanna fly you happy with our new cupboard? Yeah, I, I'm considering the amount of time it took for the other ones to get done, and these ones took like two hours, if that. I'm really happy. Chuff? I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, I don't know, it just works. We, we still got to put gas struts in and magnet catches on them. But yeah, really happy. Really good. Are you using your new cupboard? <laughs> <laughs> hey so it's tuesday and today we're just going to finish off our upper head cabinets so we just got to do these two doors here and we're going to wood stain all of the ones that we've done so far we then repeated the exact same process for these cabinet doors too but it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life so here we were just wood staining our cabinet doors with some Ron Seal Golden Oak wood stain, which we've used on so many other areas of our minibus too. Then we finished off the cabinet end with some leftover tongue and groove cladding, which we'd already wood stained before installing. One more time. One. All right, guys, we've just finished doing our overhead cabinets and wood staining them, and now we're going to move on to our headliner. We already have the cutouts done for it because we did them earlier in the last video, yeah. and now we're just going to cut out a nice square for a door. Yeah, two There's doors. Some hinges on there. I don't know when we're going to get the hinges. We need to buy some. Yeah, that'll probably be tomorrow. We're just going to get the cutouts done. I yeah, think. get it ready. Get it ready. So, let's go. So if you want to keep up with our progress, then follow us on Instagram at The Van Vicious Project so you can see pictures like this and like this. So yeah, go follow it, The Van Vicious Project. Yo guys, so it is Thursday today and today we're getting on with finishing off our headliner. So we're just going to secure it in here and then wood stain it so it should be quite straightforward. So we started by vacuuming our headliner to make sure it was as clean as possible. And then we attached our 5.5mm plywood cutouts to the beam of the headliner. All right, guys, we're just fitting the doors to our headliner now. So we got some T-hinges from Wix for 75p. So we're just going to fit them and see what they look like. We explained how we got to this stage of our headliner in episode 10, which we've linked in the description if you're interested. OK, do you want to swap because I get stressed holding and it's not a yeah, fun job? Not Once our doors were attached, we would stain the plywood. Yeah, we should 
So for now we have finished our headliner. We still need to put like a beam in between here so it can fall back on here. And then I think we're gonna get like a little black latch to put in between here. We might put a varnish coat on it, but that's it for today. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Yo guys, so it's Friday today and today we are installing our handles for our cupboards. Yeah, so we've got these black cup handles from eBay and if you want to get the same then look at our product links in the description below. We have PDFs for every episode we do. As well as that we're going to be building some walls under our bed just so we can map out some area for our storage boxes. Look up at the sky, ask it why are you are so afraid. So for the front middle part of under our fixed bed, we plan to make an area where we can put extra storage boxes for our clothes. To enclose this space, we're cutting out three pieces of 9mm ply to make an open box space. Here we're jigsawing notches off each corner to ensure it would fit over the bed beams. What's my one mistake? Counting every day. No, I'm not okay. I just wanna say. We screwed these ply pieces into place using some 30mm spack screws. Riding bikes along the beach. What's going on guys? It is Saturday today and we are just finishing off our storage for under our bed. Yeah, so today we're going to put a shelf halfway through down here, we're leaving a little bit of a gap at the top so we can put our pull out um, table there. But that's it, we're just going to wood stain it on. Yeah, with that same natural oak wood stain. Yeah. So here we're measuring the area for where we're going to put two 44 by 44 timber struts to hold up our shelf. Under the sun together these days, let's make them last forever these days. Then we drilled these into place with 8cm wood screws. Alright guys, so we were going to use our 9mm ply to make a nice shelf here, but we've actually run out of ply that fits the measurements, so we're going to have to order some more 9mm ply and get that in the next video. Um, but for now we're just going to wood stain the rest of it. Get on with that and it will look nice hopefully. So that's it for our video this week. Next week we're doing our electricity. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you next week. Bye. And I like walking hand in hand, climb the lighthouse for the view. I like go. All right, guys, we're just finishing our overhead now. <laughs> <laughs> Headliner. <laughs> All, right. All right, that's a good way to stop the video. Just rant about how stopping the video is boring. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> just so we can map out a nice. Why am I saying map out? <laughs> can you do this bit? I imagine you like with a little. Okay, map. can you do this?